That's right, Fort Park have announced that a brand new area is going to be coming to the resort for 2024 called Big Easy, Big Easy Boulevard. What on earth is that kind of name? Like, imagine a typical Fort Park target market roadman going like, Yo man, I want to go to Big Easy Boulevard, yeah? A couple of weeks ago, Fort Park announced that their area known as Angry Birds Land that has been at the park since 2014 will not be returning for 2024 and will instead be receiving a re-theme. And today is the day when that re-theme was unveiled. Big Easy Boulevard will be coming to the resort next spring and while at first the name might seem kind of ridiculous, it really does have a nice meaning to it. The term Big Easy is widely associated with New Orleans and is often used to capture the city's laid-back atmosphere, vibrant culture and the easy-flowing nature of its music, festivities and lifestyle. So yes, Fort Park is getting a brand new New Orleans themed area for next season and honestly I think this is a great move because as they've also stated in response to somebody, they're looking to ensure they have something that eases the transition between Amity Cove, which is the area sort of south of where Angry Birds land was, and Amity Speedway, which is separated on the opposite side of Amity Cove. And regarding that transition, New Orleans is a very good theme to go for, because New Orleans is obviously a state in America, Amity is an American town, so it honestly just corresponds so well. We know that all attractions in that area, those being Detonator, a Dodgem's Ride, and a 4D cinema will be staying and receiving re-themes so that they fit in. Furthermore, as much as I'm not a fan of most theme park events, Fort Park, if you're watching, get rid of Oktoberfest. Just get rid of Oktoberfest, please, I hate it. This area will fit in especially well with their Mardi Gras event, with Mardi Gras obviously being a New Orleans-based festival which has actually been taking place in Angry Birds land over the past few years, so that's another reason I can see why they've done this. It should also be noted that what was the old Angry Birds shop will be being re to what sounds like a sweet shop, which is going to be called Candy Pip Sweet Easy, and I'm definitely getting show vibes from this area. I think it's definitely going to be a stage show type place, obviously, with them doing the Mardi Gras stuff down there in the past, and the Thrill Maker show that they did in the off-peak season and whatnot. Nevertheless, I think it's safe to say that that area is definitely gonna have a lively and upbeat atmosphere and probably bring a beacon of positivity to Fort Park. If you don't get that reference, you're a fake Thrillnet fan. You've not been watching or paying attention to my recent content, but you've not even watched my Fright Nights vlog yet, one of the longest and best vlogs on the channel. Friday nights 2023, go on, check that video out on the right side of your screen because that is Fort Park's absolute best event. And for more things theme park related in the UK and beyond, make sure you click the icon in the centre of your screen to subscribe.